even now, almost 40 years later, we still can't go places without people saying, are you related to Judge Edgecombe? I was 31 when he died. Nobody sees himself as a widow at 31. We had just begun to live what I thought was perhaps the ideal life. He had become the first African-American county court judge. And suddenly this diagnosis, um, it changes the world that I'm still not able to find words to describe. He was only 33 when he died. And so you don't have to live a long life to make a contribution, to have an impact, to make a difference. And I think when um, Lee learned about George's illness and eventually his death, I think that was just a motivation for him to do something in order to make it better for anybody who would be in that situation. And now when you say Mama Cancer Center, people are automatically know what you're talking about. And, and I'm proud to know that someone that I knew personally had uh, its beginning because he thought it was worth trying to fight for. He was tenacious, and I knew if this was a dream of his, it one day would become a reality. Those who work in the, in the hospital continue to dream big because I think there are all kinds of possibilities, and I think a lot of it is going to happen right there at Moffitt. There's no better story, no better ending, no better possibility.